support for effective date. So as we seen um, before, um, the uh, current calendar date uh, was used in order to um, generate partitions and apply the policy. And uh, that's the default behavior, as you can imagine. However, either for demo purposes or for testing purposes, or because you genuinely have a different requirement, um, Power BI allows you to actually set um, an explicit date uh, for you uh, for the deployment to use. And, and uh, currently, as far as I'm aware, there is not a single tool out there which supports that feature. Uh, Tablet Editor uh, 2 definitely doesn't, um, and PBI Tools does. So what, what I can do is I can set an environment variable, uh, which is called PBI Tools underscore um, effective date. And um, I can uh, put in there 2022, uh, let's, let's put the 31st of um, October. Uh, and um, with that variable set, uh, and obviously, you know, in the CICD context, you can do that as part of your pipeline. Uh, if I now go and reapply the same deployment, it will again um, apply the um, uh, policy, uh, but now with respect to the 31st of October as opposed to the 4th of, December, uh, 4th of October, which means we will definitely expect to see uh, the uh, 30th and the 29th in there as um, individual partition. So let me do that too. Um, right. And we can already see uh, that uh, what we expected is uh, happening here. Um, here we go. So uh, again, just looking at the um, uh, listing of our partitions, we can now see there, there, there is a new partition for the 30th of October and then uh, pretty much going back all the way uh, so 10, 9, uh, yeah. Um, so th that's where we were earlier, right? And uh, all of those partitions were now added uh, because uh, I because my, my date was shifted. Um, if refresh uh, were possible now, then uh, those partitions would ultimately change from uh, from a no data state to, to a ready state. Um, that's uh, basically what you can see here, for instance. So the... Uh, 9th of August, um, uh, that happens to be a partition which previously was um, refreshed. If we then look into Power BI itself, um, and um, we can actually see, uh, this is uh, currently seeing data between the 7th and the 9th of August, and the reason was because only those partitions happen to be in the registry.